He will be starting soon. Oh, story time with Mr. Lamada. Where all your dreams come true. Oh, he brings to life. Your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely. Won't you start all the reading? I just can't wait to be hearing story time with Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Oh. Story time with Mr. Lamada. Where all your dreams come true. Oh, he brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely. Won't you start all the reading? I just can't wait to be here. <laughs> morning good morning and welcome to story time thank you so much for joining me happy friday what a week it has been amazing stories and you know what we have one coming back today a beautiful one indeed and i cannot wait to share this one and of course you've seen two our guests today juliana pedomo is here with us i'm so excited and we will be reading together sometimes all i need is me Oh, this one coming to you very shortly, written and illustrated by Juliana Pedomo, and of course, reading it with permission of the uh, publishers, Candlewick Press. Thank you so much for being here with us. I'm excited that you're here with us, wherever you're joining in from. Please be sure to leave us a message. Let us know you're here so we can say hi to you. And of course, wherever you are, I hope that it is indeed a lovely day for you and a lovely day for your loved ones. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Remember that you can find Storytime at storytimewithmrlimada.com and of course at Storytime with Mr. Limada on Facebook and YouTube. And of course, why not follow us on Instagram as well and join in the fun. See what our journey is like. Thank you so much for joining us. And of course, when we do have guests here on Storytime, please be sure to follow them on Instagram so you are aware of what they're up to, what they're doing. Go to their website, see what they're up to. These amazing creators do so much more than just books. Thank you so much for being here with us on Storytime. Sometimes all I need is me. And sometimes here on Storytime, all we need is Juliana Pedomo. Please join me in welcoming her to Storytime today. Thank you so much for being here with us. Welcome, Juliana. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Thank you for having me. Oh, this is so wonderful. This is I feel like has been um a long time in the making, a long time coming. So I'm so yeah. glad we finally get to do this. <laughs> Please tell us where you're joining us from. I'm from Bogota, Colombia. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What is what is Bogota like? What is, well, what's, your, what's your favorite thing about it? Well, I love it. We have so many things here. Um, it's a very big city. Yeah. We have beautiful mountains and lots of green. And we have so much stuff to do. There's always yeah. something to do. Everything's open all the time. It's great. Yeah. Oh, love it. Like, um, And what's the weather like out there? Well, we have the same weather all year long because oh, wow. we're near the equator. Oh. So it's sort of like spring, sometimes autumn. Oh, sometimes wow. Fall. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I love that. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> so is it the same throughout the country or is it does it differ when you're in other parts? That's the magic about Colombia because you can go two hours away from Bogota and the weather yeah. changes. It depends on the altitude. Yeah. Oh. If you're high like Bogota, it's colder. Yes. But if you go down the mountains, it's warmer, and that's magical. Yeah, no, I love that. Well, thank you for joining in today. Thank you. I'm so glad that um, you're here with us on Storytime. And, of course, we do have friends joining us, and we have somebody joining us from Western Massachusetts. How are you doing today? Melanie Cordova, thank you so much for being here with us. Yes, love, love, love all the way. Thank you so much for joining us. And um, oh, Sarah and Nathan, thank you for joining us today. 
out in Illinois and they say, and Indy the cat around here meowing somewhere. Well, Indy, good morning to you. Love it. In cloudy and gray Illinois. Well, sounds like the perfect weather for a book. And of course, this one in particular. Sometimes all I need is me. And of course, we have a special reader today too. I'm super excited about that. Gloomy outside, but we are happy for our COVID booster today. Yay. Yes, please do protect ourselves out there. Let us make sure that um, thank you for sharing because uh, indeed let's let's remove that stigma let's make sure that we are doing what's right thank you so much and um uh, i hope that it doesn't knock you down too much <laughs> <laughs> happy friday to everybody you say well happy friday to you thank you so much for joining in good morning to you soraya and sharon lungo right here in oakland thank you so much for joining us wishing you a lovely friday and thank you for spending a part of it with us here today. Thank you so much for joining in. <laughs> Good morning from Bogota. Oh, is it Ivan or Ivan? Please help me, help me. He's Ivan, he's my husband. <laughs> <laughs> he's next door. <laughs> you, you might know this guy, you might know this guy. <laughs> Out in Bogota, thank you so much for joining in. Such a great book. I agree with you. I think that's the understatement of the year. It is a wonderful book. Thank you so much for joining in. And um, before we go into the reading too, and of course, well, we cannot forget. Hugs to you, Luca. Hugs to you when you see this later on. I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you for, um, yeah, for everything that you do. And thank you for being here with us. So tell us a little bit more too about... Um, sometimes all i need is me how did this come up and then of course we're going to go into the reading and then come and have a little more conversation after that but how did this come up well this was actually a part of one of my journals um i was having kind of a hard day yeah i had this kind of breakthrough and i felt like you know what there's so much inside me yeah. that I can use to get through hard times. And I started writing and drawing on my yeah. journal. And then I posted part of that journal on yes. uh, my Instagram. And then um, my agent, Erica, mm -hmm. was like, we have to do this book. This is a great book. <laughs> that's the next book. Yeah. Oh. And it was wonderful. And that's how we got through to Cano Week and to Melanie Cordova, who's here. Yes. She's wonderful. She was my editor and she Aww. made this book. Oh, thank and you. <laughs> it was a beautiful process because it was very personal. Yeah. No, I love that. I love that. And and honestly, in reading it, the many times that I've read it here too, it just like it mm -hmm. just it's in preparation and just it's just, just feels like that it feels like you know a love letter it definitely feels like um a love letter to not just to yourself but to all the kids too that are listening everybody that is reading it and and i want to say too like i'm not a kid but this speaks to me and and that's one of the things that i really love about this book and just um thank you thank you for putting it out no seriously because i think we all need that little reminder at times that what we're doing is okay what we're doing is you know is fine Thank you so much for joining in and um, speaking to us today and then we'll come back and talk some more. <laughs> Thank you. All yours. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're going to read Sometimes All I Need Is Me. This is published by Candlewick Press. We have this little dog here. We're going to find out its name soon. I live in a cozy place with my mom and Rumba, our dog. It smells like cinnamon tea and feels like warm pajamas. But when I'm away and everything is different, oh, sorry. 
I can forget it on the frame. Sorry. There you go. But when I'm away and everything is different, I become my own home where I feel calm. I enjoy playing in the garden with Mateo, especially when the rain stops. Puddles make him happy and his laughter is the best sound in the world. But when I'm alone, I can become, I can be my own company and make my own magic. I love listening to music, especially samba. It feels like my heart follows the beat. But when it's quiet, I become my own song and let myself dance. At night, when it's too dark and my feet get cold, my room can be a scary place. So I create my own light when I close my eyes and think of the sun. Sometimes when I wear my rainbow roller skates, I fall down. Luckily, I find kind people to help me out. But other times, I can be my own support and stand up by myself. When I feel sad, a hug from grandma makes everything better. It feels like a warm knitted sweater. But when my grandma is not here, I can give myself a hug and know everything is all right. I can love myself and become whatever I need. Sometimes all I really need is me. And that is it. Oh, this, is, okay. this is a book. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the. Oh no, not at all. That was lovely. <laughs> Thank you so much. I I love it. And just you know, let's just check in to see who was with us to enjoy that story. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you man. Thank you so much for joining in today. Absolutely love it. I would. I couldn't agree with you more. It is such a great book such a wonderful book indeed and um well thank you for being here because you know you all make story time this story time space what it is it is your love it is your you know your participation your being here your love and we feel it you know so thank you so much and that's what's kept us going for so long too <laughs> thank you and um you are magical oh what more can we say <laughs> Thank you, Silvana. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And then also we have Bowden and Bowden and uh, Chrissy joining us out in Vermont where it's sunny and warm today. Oh, enjoy it. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Melanie, Amanda, West, Sarah, and Nathan, Sharon, Lungo, Soraya, we appreciate you all. And just remember, too, that today we're being joined by the amazing Juliana Pedomo. And if you want to know more about her book and everything else that she's up to, please find Juliana at um, um, julianapedomo.com. And also you can follow her on Instagram at Juliana. Juliana P. Illustration. So please, please do find her and go along and follow and follow all this beautiful art and, of course, the journey of this wonderful book. So, Juliana, I know that you have this book. Is this your first book, though? It is my first book as an author and illustrator. 
Oh, wow. And what others have you worked on? Yeah. We have it also in Spanish. If you, oh, okay. if you know that. <laughs> oh, now I know. I know what gifts you know, are going to be giving you Spanish Christmas. as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've, I've worked with wonderful people, actually. I've, I've been very lucky. Yeah. Uh, I was with Dona Barbaiguera working on a Cuckoo is Scared 2. And I've done lots of books with Quarto Publishings as well uh, for babies, four books. And well, we're working now with Susan Verde and oh. also for the comeback of El Cucuy for Christmas. Oh, okay. And That's a pretty good project. We're going to work. Yeah. Yes, we're uh, going to do another one um, about mangoes. Oh, oh! I, I I love mangoes. I do. Love Me, too. Yeah. Me too. Me oh. too. It's gonna be with Neil Porter, so yeah. Be, yeah, I'm very, very excited with all the projects that we have. Yeah, no, thank you. It's um sounds like very busy out there. So, how has um writing shaped your life, or maybe you know, like, are there any like big shifts that you felt apart from it? Looks like it's a place of solace for you. It's a place, you know, like that. Yeah. Sometimes all I need is me and my writing, right? So how has writing shaped you? Oh my gosh, it's such a wonderful tool. Yeah. Um, I feel it's a great way to get through, like, understanding everything that I go through. Yeah. Um, I use it a lot as, you know, even funny ideas or dreams. I, I, I used to write. Yeah. I use my journals to write everything that goes on in my head. <laughs> Yeah, and how did you start to write? Because, you know, like, I feel like, you know, we all write and we all try and, you know, journal at some point and so on, but somehow others seem to lose it, others seem to keep it. Like, when did you start and when did you think, like, wow, you know, like, this is something that could be well, something? I think it was since I was a kid. Uh -huh. I wanted to be a very corny kid with a <laughs> with those diaries, with luck. <laughs> I had my private feelings and yeah. stuff. <laughs> and but, then it became more of a therapy. Somehow. Yeah. So did it, sorry, yeah. Did, it, did it feel more of therapy as you were growing or did you feel the calmness or um as you were as you were even when you were younger? Well, through my teenage years it really helped me because yeah. that was a mess for me. <laughs> I mean, a teenager was, I was a very confused teenager. <laughs> no, so I think my journals got me through the adolescence. <laughs> oh, that, is, that is awesome. So how does, you know, like, um, how does one become a writer in, in Colombia, for example? And, you know, like, because there's so many different paths and you're here now, connect, but like, how does one become yeah, well, they illustrate out there. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not sure really how you do it because it was <laughs> wonderful for me. It came yeah. from me somehow. <laughs> um, I wasn't really looking for that. I was just posting my stuff on Instagram. Yeah. I, I posted my drawings and little thoughts that I had written down, yeah. and then I it reached one of the best people, like persons ever. Yeah. Erica, my agent, and she was like, I want to represent you. And then the whole dream came true. And so I, I would say just write, just post what you do, just share it with everyone. Someone will see what you do. Yeah. If you know what you do, no one will ever know that you're talented or that you have ideas or right. just doing it every day. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Well, Erica, way to spot talent, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's the best. She's wonderful. I love it. Oh, yeah. And uh, just a reminder too, to everybody that is joining us that uh, today we're joined by Juliana Pedomo all the way out in Bogota, Colombia. And um, of course, um, uh, one of us here at Storytime, it feels like, has uh, been here many times together, including uh, Luca, too. So thank you. Thank you for all those times. And you can find Juliana at julianapedomo.com and also at Juliana P. Illustrations on Instagram. So please find her there. And of course, get to follow and enjoy all this amazing work that she's doing. So um, Juliana, too, I have, you know, I know that um, as you're writing this book, it is therapeutic. It feels calming. It feels, it's an affirmation. It has all these things to it. So 
I, how do you, do you see yourself as an advocate for mental health? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Actually, I've never thought about that before. Mm. <laughs> but um, I am so moved that it reached people in that way. Like, if, if there is something I can do to help or to, you know, comfort someone, yeah. that's the dream. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I would love to be able to do books like that. Yeah, no, I mean, this is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. you're, not, you're not on your way here. Well, I think by sharing truly your experience, you connect to others because I think well, mm. we as humans are a net, like a yeah. network, and we, we're all connected somehow right. in those experiences. Yeah. Oh, this one is not about your writing. Um, vodka. What do you think? Who 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 you think is going all the way this time? To the, to the World Cup. The men's World Cup is on, coming up. This is <laughs> starting soon. So, who do you think is going all the way this time? Well, I'm not a very football soccer. <laughs> but I have to say, the Colombian women team. The Colombian women team. Yes. It's amazing. They're oh, they're, going I, to, they're, I, they're wow. Yes, no, I'm going to see some of the games and I'm actually, I'll be in, in New Zealand for the Women's World Cup. So I'm excited. Oh my God, that. if yeah. you see my Colombian team, yeah, yeah. I'm proud of them. <laughs> the Zambian women's team made it for the first time. Yes, They're exactly. the first senior, Zam senior Zambian team to make it to the World Cup. I was just like, no, yeah. this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. But yeah, no, because <laughs> I know Colombia is huge on soccer. Yes, I mean, I know I'm not a very good Colombian in that way. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm traumatized in my childhood because everyone was all about football and soccer. Yes. And it were, I mean, it was so passionate that sometimes I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not such a big fan. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh no no it is totally fine i was just thinking as we were, as you we were talking like oh my goodness yeah, how is it being because i know being in zambia how it is like where everybody leaves yeah. and breathes soccer so it can be yeah. <laughs> well he's like that because he's like that and my family my my father and my brother are super fans of football yeah. oh that's well, awesome soccer in, in the united states yeah you're, you're right <laughs> so looking at this book right you've um you you have this little girl in here. Yeah. And so I was just wondering, who is this? Well, I was inspired by many little girls that I know. Mm -hmm. um, one of them is my little cousin. Oh. Um, she's yeah. a very badass. I love her. She's very <laughs> brave and yes. she has always been very... Uh, yes. She, has, she was wonderful to look at. Her name is Anais. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think I can see many little girls in that mm -hmm. little girl. Mm -hmm. She doesn't yeah. even have a name. Yeah. Because of that. Oh, that, um, is, that is true. Yeah. But sorry, you're saying, yes. She doesn't have a name because um, I feel it's relatable to a lot of little girls. Yeah, I like that. You know, I'm, and again, these are things that sometimes. If you do not talk to the creators, you cannot know. And I, you know, like I didn't think of it that she did not have a name. It did not feel like she did not have a name. It just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love <laughs> it. And yeah, and and I think too that's so important that you highlight that. And I get the sense from you too that you are you you are an advocate for women, and I love that. And I think you know, um, just so many things that are happening, whether it's you know from equal pay or you know, women's rights, as you know, I'm sure you've been following the news here, out here in the US, and there's so much that is happening. And yeah. so um, I love that you're out there representing and indeed in your work to showing that. So thank, thank you, thank you. you for doing that. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's what we need, you know, people to boldly speak up. And I think we were talking, we're saying how sometimes when you are the one paving the path, it might not feel so beneficial, but hopefully those that are coming down the line can reap rewards, right? Yeah, yeah, sometimes we have to do the hard work for others. Right, right. Oh, thank you, thank you for that. And then it mentions in here, I love listening to music, especially samba. You have so many beautiful descriptions in here that mm -hmm. 
every time I read, you know, I go to the next page, I'm like, oh, I relate to that. <laughs> and then I go to the next page, I'm like, oh, that is so big. And so just oh, one thing. Thank you. Thank you. How, how did you, you know, like, how do you get to the to this core where you reach out and bring out such beauty? Oh my gosh, that's so flattering. Thank you. <laughs> um, Amazing. Well, I, I, it's just, it's really personal. I mean, samba, I love samba. And when I was a kid, I used to dance samba. Yeah. And my grandma made that dress that I, that I do for me. Um, I think it was for a school presentation or something. Um, yeah. Um, it was, it was, I, I felt the happiness and the joy of dancing since I was a kid because, well, in Colombia, we're very, um, we use our bodies a lot. Yes. I think that's a very Latin thing also. I, I believe in Zambia. Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but our bodies and the music is very present. So yeah. Music has always been like a healing tool for me. Yeah. Uh, that's why I put music in. Yeah, no, yeah. I love that. I love that. Honestly, I could relate so much. And I know, too, that, you know, the book says, oh, sometimes all I need is me. Sometimes. sometimes. So I know that, you know, sometimes we do need that support. Like you mentioned in here, sometimes when I wear my rainbow roller skates, I fall down. And we all do every now and then, right? Luckily, yeah. I find people who are, I find people to help me out. So, to you, who are those support systems? What is that support system? Oh gosh, I, I, I have been very lucky. I have a huge, very, very um, in your business family. <laughs> I'm always there to help and to comfort and to, I mean, they're amazing. And yeah. now that I married Ivan, his yeah. family is like that as well. So we're oh. like extra, yes, like an extra support system. And also my friends and, well, in Colombia, people are very um, given to help. Yes. And that's something that I love about. Yeah. Here. Oh, thank you. No, I, I thank you for sharing that. And I, I can also relate to that. And that's one of the things at times culturally that has been a disconnect at times in my time. Um, I mean, the U.S. now is also kind of like home. I've been here long enough that, you know, like there's so much rooted in here for me, too. But sometimes I feel that like because I'm coming from a society that they may not they might not tell you always I love you. Yeah, things they do, you know, when they laugh, they slap your shoulder, or they <laughs> very much, you know, like, you, you, yeah. So, I, I, <laughs> <thank you. laughs> and then I was just wondering too, like, you've worked with people who, you know, you've mentioned all this amazing work that you've done but as illustrator. So, how different was it to now be author illustrator? Oh my, it was very different because, um, I mean the. I always love having the manuscript given to me and trying to imagine what the author is, um, you know, <laughs> imagining <laughs> and to interpret that is great. Yeah. But this time I had to put what I had in my mind outside. And that was crazy because sometimes I was like, no, it's not like that. It's not like that. It, I mean, it's not like I see it. <laughs> And I'm my own judge. So the process is more, yeah, it's very intense, I think, emotionally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. And um, that's, that's really fascinating. So would, and I know that every work is different. Every work has its own hardness, you know, like its own difficulties, its own, you know, like smooth places and so on. If you were to pick which of the two, and, you know, like, not that you have to pick, but if you were to pick, which of the two would you go? Uh, for writing or illustrating? Yeah, like whether uh, author, illustrator, or just writing, or just <laughs> illustrating. It's like asking me to pick between my features. <laughs> <and, laughs> I only have one, but. <laughs> no, I think, um, gosh, I think I could go for just illustrating because I could tell a story without words. Ah, I and I, I just couldn't live without art. I mean, but yeah. that's a very difficult one because we always combine both. <laughs> okay, well, how about this one though? I know. It, would you ever write and have somebody else illustrate for you? 
I would love that. I would absolutely love that. I would love to see because there's so many great illustrators. And yeah. Artists, and it would be an honor. Yeah. No, there's so many. And it, it, since you mentioned there's so many great illustrators out there, is there one in particular that you've been like, or, you know, or do you have a, like a top two list? And like, is there anybody that you're like, oh, that work, I love them so much? So many, so many. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, the other day I met Chris Rashka via Zoom. Uh huh. Oh God, I love his work. And I was like, I'm a big fan of you. <laughs> and he was like, okay. No, but <laughs> oh, no. Like, I love his work. Um, I love uh, John Klassen, Carson Ellis. Yeah. Um, you name them. All of them are amazing. My friend, yeah. I have a great friend who's called Fer. Yeah. He's an amazing illustrator. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Many How good are his things. illustrations different from yours? Fer's illustrations different from yours? Is it same stylistically or no? They're different. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's more, um, he is more, I think he's more sweet somehow. <laughs> Uh, he's very sweeter good. than this. <laughs> yes. But he's like I don't know. He he's great with like scenes, like imagining scenes. Yeah. So he's like, you know what? I'm gonna draw a summer scene, and he has so many little details in the summer scene of yeah. people interacting or not interacting, and I love yeah. discovering that. He's Aww. great with that. Yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. No, I know. And I know that um, Carson Ellis and, and John Klassen are very good friends, too. I know. I, I'm like, I want to be their friend. <laughs> I'm going to get there one day. I'm like, Matt Barnett, you know? Yeah. Like, Klassen, we're going to hang <laughs> one day. I love it. I love it. Benjamin, welcome to the party. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. His last name is he's my brother. <laughs> oh my God, here. Yes, no, I love it. Support system in the house. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, and just for those again joining us, just a reminder that today we are joined by the amazing Juliana Pedomo, who's out today all the way in Bogota, Colombia. Thank you so much for joining us. And please remember too that you can find um find out more about Juliana, of course. Uh, at julianapedomo.com and of course you can follow her on Instagram at Juliana, Juliana P Illustration. So yes. please go there and follow along. And of course, ask for these books, you know, at your local libraries, like please use your libraries. They're there, they're resources. And of course, if you have the means, find this book where you find books, support your local bookstore and elsewhere where you find books. So please, please go out there and support. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. And Juliana too, um, another thing that I was just thinking was, um, you know, you, you, you're writing, you, you know, like you bring joy. Do you ever, would, would you ever, or do you ever um, have, you know, coaching classes for kids or, you know, especially girls maybe. And uh, is that something that yeah, is in the works or, that. yeah. I would absolutely love that. Mm. I mean, I wish I had more time, <laughs> like 22 <laughs> hours a day or something, because I would love that. Right, right. Yeah, I would yeah. absolutely love that. Maybe one day we can do some workshop. Yeah. Or something. No, I, I love it. I love it. I would pay for that workshop. So please. <laughs> <laughs> please organize yes but um it's just so much and uh, and we'll keep you in mind of course too as we do things for story time as we do many things we definitely want to highlight all authors or creatives out there and especially works like yours too that are clearly you know like meant to empower um the girls and i love that i really love that because i think mindsets need to change so many things need to change and is you know just being present just putting out work like this you know is a form of defiance and i love it thank you for being you thank you for being this yeah so what's next what's coming up i know there's all these other works that you're doing do we expect more do we expect a, a sequel what what's to come oh my god We're, i've been working on a book for years about a little town Oh. And I'm really hoping Candlewick publishes it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm, I mean, it's, I have so many 
ideas like lined up for me, yes. like as, as an author illustrator. As yes. an illustrator, I'm already booked in a way. Yes. <laughs> We're doing a, a huge series with Susan Verde about the senses. Yeah. Uh, it, and she's fantastic. I mean, I, she's I, I, can't wait to, I can't wait to see it. Oh, gosh, she's <laughs> wonderful. She has like this knowledge of and consciousness. Um, so her words uh, have reached me, yeah, like my heart. And it was great oh, working with her. And that. I'm also starting another project about mangoes. And yes, well, El Cuckoo is going to have a sequel. El Cuckoo is scared too. Is going to have a sequel next year. Yeah, for Christmas. So that's, that's really? exciting. Yeah. Oh, thank you for sharing your work, for sharing your time with us. Thank we appreciate you. you know it means a lot. And honestly, we feel the love. I love this book, and I hope that you know, like we can get it into the hands of as you know, as many kids as possible, as many educators as possible, and you know, as many dentist offices as possible, <laughs> wherever kids can be and read me want this book there. And <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and you know, somebody once said to me, um, I can't remember who it was now. I wish I could give them credit, but I did say, like, this is, you know, where else would you get for eight bucks, 15 bucks, where else would you get a whole 22, 32 page, you know, like little uh, gallery? And I was like, you know, that is, that's, ah, I love that. All the picture books, you look at them, like, it's just every spread is just, beautiful you know and so thank you for all that you do thank you for coming here to story time and hopefully it's not the last time that we see you here. no invite <laughs> me i'll come <laughs> thank you <laughs> so thank you so much for joining in and also too we do special mentions here on story time and um, our special mention for today is hide and don't seek so if you're looking for something a little bit scary still in the halloween mood please find this one anika Ross reese hide and don't seek i love it i've read it and trust me too even as an adult there are moments i have like oh that is a little bit scary thank you so much for joining in today um Juliana, thank you for being here with us on story time thank you i we love appreciate you. you please don't go away i'll catch you in a little bit in the backstage thank you, thank you so much for being here everybody joining in this has been the amazing Juliana Pedomo joining us all the way out in Bogota, Colombia. And of course, celebrating her new work. And this one is called Sometimes All I Need Is Me. And, you know, every time it just makes me want to touch my heart. because I love that. Yes, I love that. <laughs> That's great. Sometimes All I Need Is Me. And so please find this one where you find books. And of course, follow Juliana Pedomo. Please, please go. And so you can see everything that Juliana is up to. Julianapedomo.com. <laughs> as well as Juliana P. Illustration on Instagram. Thank you. I'll catch you on the other side. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for joining in Storytime today. This has been Storytime for this wonderful Friday morning. This has been Storytime for this week. What a week we've had, of course. And um, we couldn't resist but bring back Sometimes all I need is me. And of course, bring back the amazing Juliana Pedomo here with us today. And of course, we know that she's been a part of the Storytime community for a while now, joining in with her son, Luca. Thank you so much. And we did share Luca's art here on Storytime too. So we've been, um, we've been blessed in that way. Thank you so much for joining in. I hope that you have a lovely Friday wherever you are, you and your loved ones. I wish you nothing but the very best. Thank you so much for being here. And I think like the book says in here, I hope that, you know, today is that cinnamon tea kind of day. It is that soft sweater kind of day. It is a kind of day that when you're feeling sad, I hope that somebody can give you a hug. Somebody like grandma. And it feels like a warm knitted sweater. Love this book. Love it so much, and I uh, love this community. Thank you for making it a safe space for everybody. This is why we're here, and um, one of the things today that definitely stands out for me is just how much um, of a woman's rights advocate and you know mental well well being advocate that Juliana Pedomo is. So please follow along. Support works like this. Support women out there. Support works. Support art. Thank you so much for being here with us on Story Time. 
absolutely appreciate you. And before we go, just really quickly, who was with us this morning enjoying that story time, enjoying that conversation? Amanda West, thank you so much. I hope that you enjoyed your birthday yesterday. Thank you so much for joining us. Sarah and Nathan, and of course, Indy the cat. Meow, how are you doing today? Thank you so much for joining us on Story Time. Even though it's gloomy outside, I hope that this book, our conversation, our guest brought you all the warmth that you needed today. Thank you so much. All the best with your booster shots today. I hope that you are okay. Thank you so much for joining us on Story Time. Sharon Longo and of course Soraya, thank you for being here with us on Story Time. Much love to you. Hugs, 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 and hopefully see you soon. Ivan, thank you so much for joining us from Bogota, Colombia. Special person in the house. Such a great book, you say. I wouldn't agree with you more. A hundred percent agree. Beautiful book. Wonderful book. Thank you so much, Ivan, for contributing, making this space beautiful. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely appreciate you. I hope that you have a wonderful day out there in Colombia. Thank you for being here with us. Silvana, thank you for joining us. Love you, love you, love you back. Thank you so much. And we know that Juliana Pedomo is magical indeed. Thank you so much. And of course, the book is magical too. Thank you for being here with us and joining in story time. Chris and Mitchell Adams and Bowden out in Vermont, where it is warm and sunny today. Enjoy it. Doesn't it feel like our book today? Sunny and warm it is. Thank you so much for being here on story time. Absolutely appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you, Sharon Nungo. Wonderful book, you say. Benjamin, and I hope I'm saying your name correctly, but love it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a support system. That's what life is all about. Thank you so much for joining in. Pamela Courtney, thank you so much. Yes, please do go and watch the recording. Get to enjoy our conversation with Juliana Pedoma today. Chad, Thank you so much for joining in. Hugs. Sending you the biggest hug today. Thank you for being here. This has been story time, and I will catch you again next week. It's Friday today. I will catch you next week, Monday, for more story time. But over the weekend, please look out because we will be reposting some of these amazing interviews that we've had with all these creatives. So look out for that. And remember, too, you can find story time at storytime with Mr. Limada as well as Storytime with Miss Limada on Facebook and YouTube, and also join us on Instagram. Thank you for being here. This has been Storytime. Much love from me. Bye-bye. Happy Friday. <laughs> He brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely, you won't just start all the reading. I just can't wait to be here. So a time with Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Just can't wait to be